1944, the German army tried to improve the short-range defensive capability of the assault guns and tank destroyers. This consisted of a roof-mounted MG-34 machine gun aimed by the loader. But operating this MG was very dangerous. Because of high losses among crewmen serving as machine gunners, a new MG mount was developed. This new mount permitted the operator to defend the vehicle from the inside. This device consisted of a standard MG-34 with a 50 round magazine mounted on a hollow column base atop the fighting compartment. Handlebar controls extended through the roof, which allowed the gun to be aimed, elevated and traversed without exposing the crew. The shield was bolted to this mount to protect the MG itself from hostile fire. The periscope on this mount was a standard sniper scope fitted with mirrors and lenses. A link between the control shaft for the MG and the periscope mount allowed simultaneous traverse and elevation of both the periscope and the gun. While this mount was successful in reducing the crewman's exposure when operating the MG, it was still problematic. The 50 round drum slowed down the volume of defensive fire since this was only half the size of the normal MG belt, so the difficult reloading process had to be done more often and reloading the rounds, especially in a firefight, required speed, strength and courage. Another problem was the field of vision. The field of vision of the periscope was only 8 degrees, which meant enemy troops could more easily approach the vehicle undetected. Finally, the control portion of the gun extended down into the already cramped fighting compartment and the hatch behind the mount could not be opened until the mount was sung sideways.